Hi, today I'm gonna to be showing you two different brush curling techniques using our little mannequin hat here. We're gonna be doing a curl technique with the bounce curl brush, which looks like this, and also another one with a diamond style brush that looks like this one here. I've already gone ahead and prepped our mannequin. We've washed her, conditioned her, and separated her in half. So we're going to save this half for one brush and we're gonna do the other brush technique on the side so that you can see the two and see what the difference would be on how that would affect your curl styling. Okay, so we're going to start on the side first and we're gonna start doing the bounce curl brush. So I'm going to just section out some of her hair and clip the rest out of the way. You can see she still has a lot of water in her hair because that's what we want before we do this. Today we're going to be using the Innersense I Create Volume Gel. I find that this gel in particular is very good for brush styling techniques because the brush is able to glide through the hair really well versus some of their stronger hold gels. So we're gonna take just a small amount of this in our hands and work it and just apply that to our section. Then we're going to go in and take our brush. Again, we're using this one here. And we're gonna come underneath the section and push the hair into the bristles of the brush. And then we're going to rotate the brush and drag that through. Now you can see when I do that, it feeds the hair into these notches on the side. And that's what's going to help clump the hair really nicely for you and give you some beautiful curls on your finish. And then once you let that go, you can see all of these nicely separated curls that we have. So then we're going to go through and keep sectioning this and repeat the same process. You could also do this a little differently by applying all of your gel first to the whole thing and then separating and going through and doing your brush styling after the fact. But we're making sure that we're getting our gel coated all the way from the root through the ends. And then I'm gonna split that section in half because it's just a little too wide. And again, we're gonna go in, get the hair into the bristles first so that they're gonna help distribute the product really well through the hair. And then we're gonna rotate that brush. And again, you can see it separating into those notches. And we're just going to drag that through and then let the curls spring back. So into the brush first, rotate it out and then bring that through to the ends. I'm just grabbing some more water and making sure that our hair is staying well hydrated throughout the process. You can see all the beautiful definition we're already getting on this. Now I've been going up underneath. If you wanna create volume, I would come up underneath with the brush. If you're looking for something that's a little smoother and flatter on the top, you could take the brush through the top and go this way and then just rotate in the opposite direction. So you're still feeding the hair through the teeth of the comb, but it's creating a little softer finish in the root area versus when we come up and go underneath like this. So that's totally up to you, depending on what you want your finished look to be, whether or not you come underneath like that or push down from the top to work through your section. We've got probably two more sections here we're gonna do. And this process is going fairly quickly. So if you don't have a lot of time or don't want to spend a lot of time, but you still want to do a little brush styling, something that's a little different from your normal routine of what you're doing with your curls, this is a great brush to use for that because you can move through the head very quickly with it and it doesn't take a lot of extra time on your product application. Especially, like I said, if you go through and apply all of the product to the hair first and then just section and work your brush through. But again, see how we're feeding through the teeth right there? and then just letting that hair cover off. And then I always like to layer a foam over my gel. So we're just going to take a little bit of the I Create Definition from Innersense. 
a small amount of that in our hands. And I like to just glaze that over the surface first and then scrunch that through. And that will help create a really nice cast on the curls, more so than you'd get from just doing the gel on its own. And there it is. So, so that's working with the bounce curl brush that looks like this. And now we're going to take a pause. We're gonna flip sides with our mannequin here and I'm gonna show you how to go in with the denim style brush. Okay, so we've gone and flipped her around and I've sectioned out just a little bit at the bottom and we've sprayed that down with some water just to re-wet it. And we're gonna go in with the I Create Volume once again and apply our product. And I do a rather quick application of product when I'm doing brush styling because the brush is really gonna help to distribute that product through your hair well so you don't have to work quite as hard with your hands. So again, now we're taking this Denman style brush. This brush is actually a Paul Mitchell sculpting brush, but it's um, almost identical to the Denman brush that you see a lot of people using online. So we're gonna take just a small clump of our curls here, and we're gonna take with our brush head pointing down and our handle up, and we're going to start to roll that brush through the hair. And as I drag it through the hair, I'm gonna start twirling the brush. And as I'm twirling, you can see the hair wrapping around the handle of the brush. And that's what we wanna have happening until it's all the way through the ends. And then you're just gonna very gently slide that down off the hair. And you can see how that just really coiled that hair really nicely, right from the root all the way down to the bottom. You can see that there. And we're gonna continue doing that in all of these sections here. So again, our brush is gonna to point towards the ground and you wanna place it in pretty close to the scalp area. And then we're going to start just turning our brush and rotating it through the hair while the hair is dragging through the teeth at the bottom of the brush. And then once we get to like the ends of the hair in the brush here, we're gonna keep rolling that so that it wraps the hair all the way around the handle. And you can keep kind of sliding and twirling that through until you hit the end. And then just very gently slide that down and off the hair. And you're gonna get these like perfect little coils in the hair. I love this technique for people who have sections of their hair that don't curl very well, that tend to be straighter. So like I do this on this front section of my hair, for example, because my hair tends to be very straight in that area. Um, I have a looser wave pattern. And for some reason, that front section of my hair just does not have as much texture to it. So this is a great way to increase the curl on your finished look if you have some straighter sections of hair on your head. You can absolutely go through and do your whole head this way if you'd like to. I don't typically recommend it just because of, it's very time consuming. You can see how much longer it's taking me to get through this section versus going in with the other brush that we used and how quick that was. So this I tend to use more as like a spot treatment almost for sections of your hair that don't want to curl well on their own and need a little bit of help. Um, I like it a little better than finger coiling. I find I get a better finished result on it than with a finger coil. So we've got this whole section done and you can see the difference between these curls here with spinning around the brush versus the curls we've done with the bounce curl brush here. So we're just going to continue up the head doing the same thing on this side. First, making sure that she's wet. And then going in with some of our gel. And then I'm just gonna drop out sections and work with that again. I got brush facing down, handle up. And we're just gonna start spinning that and letting it roll through the brush. I'm going to spin around so you can see my face while I'm talking. So here we go. We're just wrapping, wrapping, wrapping. And then once we get to the bottom, just lightly unwrapping that from the brush. Again, starting very close to the scalp, you want to make sure you really grab the hair right from the root to work it through. And don't start in the middle of the hair strand because you won't get as clean of a coil if you're starting like out here with your brush curling. You wanna be right in here at the scalp with it. So 
Like if I were to start out here, you wouldn't really smooth out this hair and you'd have some kind of fuzzy puffiness in this section. So definitely get your brush in right up at the scalp like that. And then as you're going through, you just keep a little tension on that, keep spinning it and then just a light unravel. And you can adjust the size of the sections that you're doing this on and give yourself some larger coils versus smaller coils. So depending on how big of a little section you're wrapping around the brush will determine how big your coil is. So if you want some smaller coils, you can do smaller sections. And if you'd like some bigger coils, go ahead and grab a larger section of hair to start this with. But again, you can see how much more time consuming this would be versus the other way, but it does give a very different style of curl. Both directions. You do not have to twirl these all in the same direction. It's actually kind of better if you mix it up a little bit. So you can, you'll see on this section, I'm actually going the opposite direction of what we did before. So instead of getting my brush in this way, I'm gonna come in on this side. So now that we're in our last section, I'm gonna make sure I'm over directing the root area up a little bit so that we can still create some volume on this. So you can see I'm kind of lifting up this way versus pulling down this way while I'm wrapping. Again, personal preference, if you don't want as much volume, you can definitely set your brush more this way. I like to see a little more volume in the hair, so we're just gonna lift that up as we go. Okay, so now that we have this side done, we're gonna do the same thing with the foam. I give the foam a little a bit of cast on there. So I'm taking that in my hands again. And again, glazing just the surface. And kind of gently roping that and then scrunching that through the bottom. Okay, so you can see already, I'm gonna bring her a little closer. You can see the style of curls that we get from the bounce brush and then the ribbon curls that we're getting by doing the denim brush. So we're going to take her get her dried up and diffused and then I'll bring her back to show you the finished look. Okay. <clears throat> so now we've gotten her diffused and she's fully dry. I haven't shaken her out yet, but you can see the curl pattern on the side. And again, that was from using the style of brush. And then you can see our ribbon curls we created on this size with this brush. We're gonna shake out the side a little bit and then I wanna show you a way you can kind of separate these curls really nicely without um, disturbing that ringlety curl pattern too much. So on our side, we did the bounce curl brush. We're just gonna kind of shake out the root there like we normally would to kind of fluff out and shake out our curls. And that for me is getting our hands spread and in there and just giving a little shake and massage at the root to break it out a little bit. And then if you want more volume, you can kind of drag your hand out a little bit. And then you can go through the bottom and just kind of scrunch and massage. I almost kind of go like this a little bit to soften up those curls, break them up a little bit and give them a little bit more expansion. And you can see how nice and full this is. And you've got these great defined curls coming through this side. Looks beautiful. So then now this side, I'm just gonna pop her on here so that we can see. So now I'm gonna take a little bit of the I Create Shine from Innersense. I'm gonna take just a small amount of that in our hands. I like to have a little bit of serum in my hands for this so that I don't create any undue frizz. Um, the I Create Shine from Innersense is amazing. It's a 
um, silicone free oil so it won't build up on the hair and cause any problems but it gives you a beautiful shine and a great way to do some separation on this so what I'll do is I'll take one of these little ringlets and I'll come in at the root very gently and just sort of separate some of that out and then glide my hands through with some of that oil and I'll do that maybe a couple of times depending on how big the section is and how much I want to separate it out and you'll see you still have these beautifully defined curls but now we've just separated and spread them apart a little bit so they're not quite so clumpy together and you can go ahead and do this with as many or as few of the curls if you as you want depending on how big you want your final result to be and how much volume and separation you want to create so again i'm just sliding through very gently i'm just gliding through that curl and i sort of take the curl and bounce it and look for where it wants to separate naturally and use that as my guide for where I'm going to separate it apart versus just going in and just blindly separating it out. So I'll kind of bounce it a little bit and you can see like it wants to kind of, let me turn her a little bit so that you can see well. So when I bounce this one, you can see it already is kind of separating right in here. So I'm just gonna go in and take that as my curl separation. And again, I've got another piece here that's kind of separating out on its own. And that's where we'll start to go in and separate those. So now you can see instead of that one big clump here, you've now got these softer curls appearing. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that through more of these curl sections. And then we'll show you what the finish on that is. Okay, so this is our finished look. You can see on the side, this is the end we did the bounce curl brush on. So this is the side that we did the Denman style brush on. And you can see these curl clumps are much bigger and fatter. And you have like these larger ribbons of curls through the side as opposed to the other side. So this is our finished look with both different curl patterns. I hope you found this video helpful. And as always, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I will see you on the next one.